most Mac users only use about 20% of what their trackpad can actually do. Once you unlock these hidden tricks and master these gestures, your MacBook instantly feels smarter, faster, and far more fun to use. Hey everyone, welcome back to Crazy Editors. In today's video, once again, I'm going to share with you some cool trackpad tricks and gestures. Most MacBook users leave their trackpad speed as default, which is good. But Mac power users, they always increase it. Because once you do, you move your hand less and your Mac feels instantly faster. Click on Apple icon left side top corner, click on system settings. On left, scroll it down, look for trackpad. At the top in this window, you see this tracking speed. You can increase, decrease from here whatever suits your style the best. After buying every MacBook ever, this is always the first change I make. By default, you're forced to press down on trackpad to click. And honestly, it feels so lame. So in the same system settings window under trackpad, you have this option, tap to click. Enable this immediately. Now you no longer need to press on trackpad to access anything, you simply tap and that opens up for you right away. Did you know you can tap with two fingers on trackpad to access the right click menu by default? This is one of the simplest and most useful gesture on Mac and majority of users, they have no idea about it. Not only that, you can customize that. Under trackpad settings, once again, you have this option at the bottom, which is secondary click. From here, you can switch it with click in right side bottom corner or click in uh, bottom left corner, any one of these options. So let's choose one of them. Now I can push the right side bottom corner here and that gives me the right side menu. When you're working across multiple apps and files, and suddenly you need a quick overview, just swipe up with the three fingers and Mission Control shows you every open app and a window. Now, if you have multiple windows open inside same app, swipe down with the three fingers or four and all the windows open in that same specific app will show up on the screen. There's a bit of possibility by default app expose is not enabled on your MacBook. Therefore, under system settings and trackpad, uh, at the very top, you have these three options. Click on more gestures. And from here, you can choose whichever the option suits you the best. Three fingers swipe down or four fingers swipe down. Forget clicking on apps icon or launch pad. Just pinch on trackpad with three fingers and thumb and there you go. You will see apps right there. Tired of pressing down on trackpad each time you want to move a window. Normally, when you're moving finger on the trackpad, this is the type of response you get. It does nothing, just moves the cursor. And when you want to move the window, you have to place the mouse at the top edge of the window and then press it hold it and then you can move it under system settings window on left to scroll it up and look for accessibility on right to scroll it down little and look for pointer controls look for this option trackpad options and here you can enable use trackpad for dragging and from here choose three finger drag now when you want to move a window place the cursor at the top once again and then three fingers on the trackpad and move it any way you want by the way, by enabling three fingers window move, you disable one feature on your MacBook and that is switching the desktop. So now if you want to switch desktops, you have to use four fingers to do so. Pinch gestures on MacBook trackpad are wonderful. You can simply place a thumb and a finger or maybe two fingers and simply zoom and zoom out any document or maybe a website page. But what if you have to zoom in some specific type of window or screen that does not support that pinch feature? This time under accessibility, click on zoom 
And here you see this option, use a scroll gesture with modifier keys to zoom, enable this. Now what this is gonna do is pretty magical. Let's get back to this screen again. And here, now if I want to zoom in or zoom out the entire window with everything on it, I have to simply press and hold the control button on the keyboard and then use these two fingers that we use to scroll documents or the pages on trackpad in order to zoom in, zoom out everything across the whole screen. This is perfect for tiny text on the screen, detailed work, or when you need a closer look at something specifically on your screen. This one is incredibly helpful, especially if you struggle with the small text. We are still in the system settings window under accessibility. Let's go one step back from here and this time click on hard text. And the first option at the top is hard text. Now by holding the command key. Now all I have to do is hover the mouse on any specific part of this document or website. Anywhere, wherever I take my mouse, it is simply going to magnify the specific section of it. This is subtle, smart, and surprisingly useful in everyday work. Not only that, you can also enable from this screen hover typing. Now, if you're typing anything, this will give you a dedicated bar with a magnified text, whatever you're typing, so that even if you are making mistake, you have a situation with the tiny text, you can see that in this magnified window and accordingly make the corrections. This is it. You just unlock the pro version of MacBook trackpad. These Mac trackpad gestures not only make your experience faster, but it's smoother, smarter, and everyday easy to use. Tell me in the comments which gesture was new for you. Don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. And now, if you're ready to master your keyboard too, then don't forget to watch our this video. 20 Mac keyboard shortcuts everyone should know. And before you go, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe Crazy Editors for future tech tips, tricks, and solutions. Until next time, you take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next one.